Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today, <laughs> is that funny? Today we're going to be doing my May wrap up. It was my worst reading month of the year. I only read eight books and three of those were picture books to Amelie's. So, so as per usual, I'm just gonna go through rapid fire, uh, tell you the books and my ratings, and then I'm gonna tell you the best book of the month, worst book of the month, my most surprising and most disappointing. So here we go. So the first book I finished was Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valor by Ali Carter. This is a middle grade and I really enjoyed it, gave it four stars and I read this because um, the buzzword for the buzzword -thon for May was house or home. Are you right? So yeah, that's why I read this. Then I read Amelie, Are You There, Little Unicorn, which 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5. Then I read Heartstopper Volume 4 by Alice Oseman. This, no, no surprise to anyone, gets 5 stars. Then I read No Problema to Amelie, and uh, this gets a 4 stars. Then I finally finished Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. Um, I gave this 5 stars, but this is definitely the most frustrating book I've read all year. Then I read another super chunky book. I read Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth, and this one got a 2.5. Then I read Yona of the Dawn Volume 7, which got a 4 out of 5 stars. And then lastly, I read uh, Find a Spot at the Library by Eric Hill, which is amazing. I love it. 5 stars. Those are the 8 things that I read. My most surprising book of the month was Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valor, mainly because I read this so quickly. I read the majority of it, sorry, Emily's playing. I read the majority of it in one sitting, um, which is kind of impossible for me to do these days with Emily, but like I was playing with Emily and like reading at the same time because I couldn't put it down. It was so good. It's like a middle grade mystery and it was just so wholesome and great and I really want to read the sequel now. Um, it was just delightful. So that was my um, most surprising book. My most disappointing book was definitely Plain Bad Heroines. This was a five star prediction for me. The first half of this was honestly like a four or a five stars and then the second half you just went downhill so quickly. It was so boring and I hated the ending. It was just so unsatisfying. But if you didn't know, this um, is set in two timelines. The timeline set in the past is about this boarding school for girls where a number of the students die under suspicious circumstances. And then in present day, we're following these actresses and people who are involved in making a movie about um, that school. It has a sapphic polyamorous relationship in it. It just had so much potential but it just really let me down. I'm so sad about it. So the best book I read this month has to go to Heartstopper Volume 4. I mean I know I read Chain of Iron as well but nothing beats Heartstopper. It is just so good and this one is a lot darker than the previous volume because it really goes into Charlie's uh, mental health struggles. Um, he has an eating disorder and it really goes into that but I'm just obsessed with this series. I can't believe volume 5 is going to be the last volume. I'm so sad about it. These just always put a smile on my face. <laughs> I love them. And my worst book of the month, surprising no one, is going to have to be Plain Mad Heroines as well, sadly. <laughs> and let's just add in a whole nother section here for most frustrating book hello i've never felt so much frustration reading a book right emily it was so <laughs> frustrating wasn't it so that is gonna be it for my hopefully super speedy wrap up um hopefully june will be better which we're halfway through june at the moment and i've already read the same number of books that i read in the whole of may so thank goodness for that <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later in a new video Goodbye! Bye.